Welcome to Helix, the first professional wireless security system that can be easily installed any place in the home. This is Chapter 2 of the Helix series outlining how to install expansion cards into the panel. Everything you need to install the Helix security system comes standard in the box, and it's possible to order a Helix system from the factory with all desired option cards installed and tested. This video will cover the process of adding a card in the field based on the needs of a particular installation. To install the option cards, you'll need to remove the cover of the Helix system as shown. Press the button on the top of the Helix to release the cover, then lift to loosen the tabs at the bottom of the panel. Place Helix on a flat and secure surface to prepare for card installation. There are three expansion slots in Helix. The two larger cards are for cellular and Wi-Fi communications. The third slot is used for translator or Z-Wave communication cards. The connectors highlighted are where the pins or receptacle on the expansion card interfaces with the main board. There are also three or four holes on each card, allowing for mounting pegs to be attached. Be sure to remove the backup battery prior to installing any expansion cards. The most common expansion card is a cellular communication device. This should be installed in slot 1, allowing for proper installation of the internal antenna. Be sure to align the four pre-installed mounting pegs into the holes on each corner and the communication pins with the main board connector as shown. Press firmly and evenly over each of the corner posts until it snaps securely into place. Put the antenna in the holding slot located near the sounder of the Helix system. Wi-Fi and Z-Wave cards have built-in antennas and don't require this extra step. The Z-Wave and translator cards are connected in slot 3 near the Helix battery. Align the three mounting pegs into the holes in the corner and ensure the pins on the main board align with the connector on the expansion card. Press firmly and evenly until the card snaps into place. Once all expansion cards have been added, you can reconnect the backup battery and power the Helix system to verify proper operations. You should see LEDs on the expansion cards illuminate confirming power and communications are available. Once confirmed, you can replace the cover of the Helix and complete the installation of all other sensors and peripheral devices. Thank you for your interest in Helix. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the Show More tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.